hello viewers welcome to another video on t4u tutorials so this will be the second episode of the basics of flying series and in this video we will be discussing about primary flight controls so without further ado let's get started <music> So in the last episode we discussed about three different motions of your aircraft now there are certain structures on your airplane that manipulates the airflow around it and helps you control these three motions as well as improve your performance now these structures are called flight controls flight controls are divided into two primary flight controls and secondary flight controls now primary flight controls are simply those controls that pilot primarily use to control the airplane the three primary flight controls are the aileron elevators and rudders the secondary flight controls on the other hand changes the performance of the aircraft and also reduces the workload of the pilot now we will discuss about secondary flight controls in the next episode now let's look into the three primary flight controls first one the ailerons ailerons control a roll about the longitudinal axis the ailerons are attached to the outboard trailing edge of each wing and move in the opposite direction from each other Ailerons are connected by cables, bell cranks, pulleys or push-pull tubes to a control wheel or control stick. Moving the control wheel or the control stick to the right causes the right ailerone to deflect upward and the left ailerone to deflect downward. The upward deflection of the right ailerone decreases the camber resulting in decreased lift on the right wing. The corresponding def downward deflection of the left ailerone increases the camber resulting in increased lift on the left wing. Thus the increased lift on the left wing and the decreased lift on the right wing causes the, le uh, the aircraft to roll to the right. Now similarly the same happens when you move the control stick to the left side but all in the opposite direction. The second primary flight control is called the elevator. Now it is located on the trailing edge of the horizontal part of your tail, also known as the horizontal stabilizer. Elevator controls the pitch of the aircraft. When the control column is pulled backwards, the elevator moves up. This deflects more airflow upwards creating a downward force on the tail side thus the tail side moves down and the nose pitches up helping the flight to climb up similarly when the control stick is pushed forward the elevator deflects downwards thus creating an upward force at the tail side and pushing the nose down and this helps the flight to descend. The last primary flight control that we will be discussing today is called the rudder. Now rudder is used to control the yaw of the aircraft. Rudder is a movable object on the vertical stabilizer or the fin. Opposite to a popular belief, rudder is not used to steer your aircraft. Instead, it is used to overcome the adverse yaw felt during a turning, which means you combine the rudder and the aileron to get better turns. And also, rudder is used in multi-engine aircraft in case of an engine failure where the thrust generated by one side is greater than the other, creating a thrust, simula a correction, a thrust a similarity. Rudders also help pilots during crosswind landing like the one you see in the video now where he uses the rudder at the final to correct himself before touchdown. I've tried to simulate how a rudder works so we don't use it this way in the simulation. A deflection of a rudder pedal causes a corresponding rudder deflection in the same direction that is pushing the left rudder pedal will result in a rudder deflection to the left. This in turn causes the rotation about the vertical axis moving the aircraft most to the left. 
and this is how you control the rudder on your joystick if your joystick is capable of sensing this twisting movement and if you own a rudder pedal i'm sure you must be knowing how to control the rudder using the rudder pedals so that's it for today's video oh, we will continue with the secondary flight controls in the next video i would like to tell you that we have not gone into in-depth technical details of any of these controls but if you really would like to know how each controls work uh, if you would like to get a scientific explanation for all of those you can request me in the comment box and i'll try to make another video on the same apologies for the low audio quality i've ordered for a new headset which i'll be getting in the next few days so most probably my next video will come with a better audio and if you have any suggestions feedbacks or if you have any video requests you can put them down in the comment box and i'll try to respond as quickly as possible to them and for more tutorial videos subscribe to my channel and stay tuned see you in the next video bye bye